Uh, but yeah, so... I thought we'd go and play pl classic. Kind of classic? Is the GameCube considered classic yet? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but... Yeah, no, Kirby Air Ride is like one of my favorite games on the GameCube. There's a lot of really good games on the GameCube, but... Uh, this game's amazing. So, uh, we're gonna play it. I'm gonna show it off and probably play it every now and then when I feel like it. <laughs> um, so, this is a completely different game compared to, like, any Kirby game that's ever come out. <laughs> and they've never made anyone like it since. I really wish they would have made a sequel. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that we can mess around with this. There are three categories you can do involving racing. Uh, I'll, I'll demo each of them, but we'll probably spend most of our time in City Trial. But, uh, yeah. I spent so much time with this game growing up. I beat it, like, 100% probably two times. Which, you'll, you'll see, there's a lot of achievements you can do. Like, little... They, they're like achievements. Kind of like. But, uh, let's start with Air Ride. Air Ride is pretty basic. It's your... On a... Air Ride machine, and you're trying to get first place. Uh, this actually isn't the best part about this game, but we're going to go through and do uh, each one just to show them off. Let's see. Commended. I think that's probably all fine. The controls are super easy as well. We're going to get right into it. Oh, it's going to give us a tutorial. This is actually good. This is the basics of how the machine works, and I know the video is probably not great because we're running through an emulator, so... Apologies in advance. <laughs> but otherwise, the game runs pretty well. So, you use two controls. A and the joystick, and that is it. So, but, yeah. So, but the thing is, each machine is completely different that you ride on, and so... Stuff like this doesn't work with some of the machines, and you have to learn how to use them. So, yeah. I haven't played very much of the emulator version of this game, so I don't have all the, like, vehicles and tracks unlocked, but we'll play with what we've got. Yeah. Enemies will give you abilities. We're not going to watch all that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Go random. See, there's one you can unlock here. I have one machine! <laughs> Uh, let's see, we need to change our color. Go with blue. <clears throat> we'll just keep the CPUs at level 3. Alright. Come on. Need it, but oh man, you can get up there if you hit that like crab that was in the sand. Oh boy, you really got a time how you take corners, and then you get abilities. Take all the boosts. I've had this item for forever. All right, oh, so this is two laps. Ow. And you only can fly for so long. Like, it, it, it almost charges your vehicle. Oh, here's a good one. We'll completely change what we look like if we suck this guy up. Come here. All right, now we're a tire. Wheel copy ability. So, like I said, this isn't the best part of the game, but it's still fun. And there's all these secrets and shortcuts you'll find and learn about the more you play the game. Which is awesome. The sleepy guys are so annoying because you fall asleep and you lose control. So, <laughs> that's no... that's no good. And up we go. There we go. Oh, see, okay, that noise. We unlocked a thing. 
We might have unlocked two of them. So, not incredibly difficult. This is where the achievement stuff comes in. Right here, boom. So yeah, there we go, we already got a new machine. Um, let's do one more that I actually really enjoy. This is probably... Oh, we got two of them! Yeah, no, two. Actually, this is probably better with this one. Alright, let's do it. Oh, no. Alright, see, this one doesn't allow you to, uh... You can't slide. And you can't turn until unless you're holding A, which makes this one marginally uh, more difficult. <laughs> okay. The tracks are really pretty. They did a really good job of designing the levels for this game. Sword copy. Another two lap. Oh, that's right, shortcuts. Shortcut there, you can cut that turn. Oh go, oh go, oh go! Here we go, here we go, here we go. Bomb, 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 bomb. Just mess everyone up, because they're all behind me. Oh, man, I haven't gotten up there yet. This thing makes this difficult, but that's okay. So. We're going to do another mode, uh, the final mode, which is City Trial, and part of the final event in that uh, series of stuff... Oop, oop, don't do that, is uh, you, you get a chance to potentially do a race on here. And they're usually only one lap, or the, the tracks from Air Ride. They're usually only one lap, which is fine. But, uh, so we may see some of these tracks again once we do some City Trial runs. Like some of these enemies I recognize from the Kirby games, and some of them are like, I don't know if they're new or from like old, old Kirby games I just don't recognize, which would be surprising if they were because I own most of the old Kirby games in one form or another, or have at least played them. Here we go. So, um... Yeah, no, we'll just get this one done. We'll do... Oh. Well, that's a good start to do that with. So yeah, that's... There's there's a few maps that you can do. This one's fun. They're all pretty fun to play. It's just... Whoa! I lost some frame right there. Um, alright. Let's go back. We'll do top right. Top right is a completely different style. Same idea, but you get the view from the top. We are not going to watch it, because that takes too long. <laughs> Uh, let's do a random, and I'm going to change my color back to blue. I don't have white. I have, There's a, a white one you can get, which is super cool. You can unlock white Kirby. It's like almost black and white looking. Alright, so the idea here is that, same idea, top view, whatever direction your control stick is pointing in is the direction that you will go. So, but almost all of the controls are the same otherwise. And items are very important. And I used to be like, like I said, I perfected this game more than once. And so you have to get really good with items and driving in this game. It's ridiculous. Nope, 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 nope. Ow! Yeah, I don't know how many laps you got. Six laps? Great! I might not make it to this one. Yeah, I keep messing up on that U-turn there, which is a problem. Focus. There we go. Okay. So it, it's a bit more, I would say, Mario Kart style. Because the items are more designed to, like, take out your opponents. As, as, as much as the other items are in Air Ride, it's not quite the same. But it's still super fun. <laughs> very quick. Very, very quick. We only did a few laps, though, so that makes sense. Uh, this game also, this game type, also has its own checkboxes that you can uh, unlock and get new things, which we'll go look at here in a minute. Let's do... Hmm, this one's kind of chaotic. 
The music in this game is incredible, by the way. It's like one of the best Kirby soundtracks ever. That is like a party ball, if you remember the ball from uh, Super Smash Bros. The wind and the gears all affect everything here, which makes this really frustrating sometimes. No. Five, five laps. Oh, go. Nope, you stay back there, Red. I've got this one. Woo! <laughs> nice. So, uh, you can change how many laps you do, and I think there's one that does like a bazillion laps, and you have to play for a certain period of time. That one's fun, it's just chaotic. <laughs> Okay, so there you go. You slowly unlock more colors and you eventually can unlock a different air ride machine. It's not super different, it's just how the controls work on it. Um, let's do one more. Those are short. Those are fun though. Um, let's do this one. One more. If you hit A on the interactive platforms, you'll be, you'll help yourself or you'll hinder your opponents. <laughs> you could also hinder yourself. <laughs> go look at the way the wheel's going. Go faster. Man. See, the problem with being in first is you don't end up getting a lot of items. They disappear. Or you just don't get as much. It does happen, just not as often, <laughs> obviously trying to help the people behind the person in first catch up. Man, come on. Uh-oh. Going the other way. Got off. This is also an excellent party game with, like, your friends. I play this game with my friends so much. <laughs> I played it by myself a lot, but I played it with my friends a ton. Uh, we did a lot of stuff in uh, City Trial, which we'll show off here in a second. So yeah, it's it's make it more difficult. There's obviously things you can unlock with higher difficulties if you beat them. It gets very hard when you turn up the difficulty on the character, so... <laughs> uh, let's go and do City Trial. This is so much fun. It's so much fun. I'm so excited. <laughs> City Trial is the best part of this entire game. Uh, stadium, those are the events that happen after. Uh, yeah, so there we go. We'll call that good. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Uh, have I, I have unlocked the white Kirby. How much have I played of this? Actually, let's go look real quick. Here's the records. Checklist. Oh, I've been playing a bit. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I've... Oh, I don't have it yet. Okay, that'll have to be for a different video then. I was going to show you guys something kind of cool uh, with City Trial, but I'll have to do unlock some more stuff, and then I can show you. So City Trial is a big open... Ooh, frame rate died. Um, there's a, it's a big open world map that has items that spawn all over it. The objective is to collect the items, break open boxes, and collect items that aren't gray, because that, that was bad. Uh, and power up your machine. However, the, the items are tied to the character, not the machine, and certain... Anyway, won't get into all that. But yeah, so you're trying to collect as many items as you can, and... You know, I have a really tiny, compact star that's not very good, so you really want to try to find a good machine quick. The formula star is actually not a bad choice. This actually might be a little better than this thing. Well, I, I want it because... There's a couple machines that are like the best machines to get, Ex not, you know, excluding the legendary machines. Those are good, obviously, but I'm talking uh, just basic. Oh, but this one's really hard to steer. <clears throat> get that uh, weight up. Goodbye. Oh, here we go. This will help us a little bit. Open some boxes. 
So yeah, you can see this machine is really slow, but the idea is you're making... Let's see, can we see it? So this menu shows you all the things that you're adding to your character. So your vehicle will do will have more in these categories than when we play the game, which is awesome. So you can see everyone else is starting to get machines as well. I, uh, yeah, this I've played this way too much. <laughs> this game is great. Um, there are legendary vehicles, as I mentioned, that will spawn a little bit later. They don't usually spawn this early. And they will spawn in random places around the map. They're not random, though. There's a, there are, they will randomly spawn in a few select places, which is good. Oh, the red boxes usually have attack items uh, attack your enemies. The blue boxes usually have items that will help you. There's a flight. Oh, someone. Keep getting de offense down. Bad. Oh, that would be a good one to get. So this item is my favorite item in the game. Or favorite item, like, that's not helpful. Whee! <laughs> uh, this is completely, like, not needed at all. But it's such a fun item. Oh, God! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ooh, we gotta get up here. Is it still here? It's still here. Oh, fun item. Best item. <laughs> uh, oh, Jeez, there's so many boost items. So the, yeah, the purple one, oh man. The boost items increase how much of an initial boost you get from this char the charge up you get. Sometimes the bots get stuck. That's a weird thing, not saying that, that bot looked like they were, but they're not, which is good. Oh, come on. Screw it. <laughs> go, go, go. We're also looking for a very specific star, if I can find it. And we'll replace this one later. <gasps> no! Oh. No, we don't want the jet star. That's the jet star. Uh, let's see. There, I don't need it. I got another downturn. That's not good, because the uh, more of those, the better. Oh! Oh, secret chamber opened up. That is back here in the castle-looking building. <gasps> oh, that's not helpful. Those are attack items. So never mind with that. Let's go back over here. This vehicle's a little finicky. Oh, the box star. Eh, tempting, but no. That, that's just health. Which, if we were hurting, health would be really good. Oh, man. Can use those things. Uh, all right, let's see. Come on! You can see I charge up a lot faster now because I've got <laughs> eight charges. <laughs> and you're going faster, which means you have a bit more weight behind you, so when you hit the boxes, you're more likely to blow them up on the initial hit. And all the time, <gasps> there's more. I need a more turn. So this machine is probably going to be our main, uh, considering I haven't found a Turbo Star and I have not found a Legend seen any legendary parts. Because the legendary machines do spawn, but they, are, they require you to pick up three components to make them. You know, these have been sitting here for forever. Oh, there it is. Okay, so for anyone who knows about the Dragoon and Super Smash Bros. Brawl, which has been in every Super Smash Bros. since Super Smash Bros. Brawl, um, it is the... Uh, you do the same exact thing in that fight. You're, you're trying to collect all the items, and you end up... Uh, you can use it to smash into people. Oh, the Hydra. Oh, we gotta get the Hydra so I can show it off. Um, the Hydra is actually super, super awesome. It's my favorite. The Dragoon's cool. And as you see in Super Smash Bros, it's like you can fly and it's very powerful, but the Hydra is the fastest vehicle in the game. So, and there are a few places these components show up. That was a blue box. It's okay. Um, I'm looking, trying to see where it might show up. It might be underneath the golf course now. We got a minute and 30 seconds to find this thing. We have three parts. I really don't want the Dragoon now. Uh, oh no, get off the rail, get off the rail. Okay. Fine. Not up there, really? Where the heck are these things? That might be one. Nope, just an item. 
attack item. Ooh, we're gonna get the, the Hydra. If there's a chance we could get the Hydra, we need to grab all of those we can. Where is it? Oh no! I need to get up high. I need to get up high. Uh, hold on, hold on. We got 43 seconds! No. Oh! There are two boxes up here. <gasps> 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Come on, come on, come on. This is actually probably the. Uh... Yes, yes, yes! Okay, here we go. Sweet. Oh, this is so good. I'm so glad I got to show you guys this. Yay! Oh man, best vehicle in the game. I don't care that the dragon can fly forever, but this thing is stupid fast and has stupidly high uh, offensive ability. So you hit anybody and they just blow up, which I really don't want to do because I feel really mean. <laughs> that would I would feel bad because that would be really mean. To the other bots, yeah, they're bots. So it's nice to have some competition. Oh, I can't believe I got it within the last 30 seconds. Ooh, you see how much my health jumped up too. So this thing is crazy. We've got a lot of charge in it as well, and it runs off of charge like fuel. So you have to charge it up before you even... Oh, target flight! I can't even show off how cool it is. This is actually really bad. <laughs> oh well. It's fine. The idea of this, you get two tries to get as many points as possible by flying into a board. And once I get full charge, I just let go, and off we go. Oh, this is good, this is good, this is, this is not good. This is good, this is good, this is... <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I was hoping. Whee! Oop. Look how cute I am. Whee! Alright, let's try that again. So it looks like we are going so fast we can pull up right here. That's awesome. Alright, we're gonna try it again, we're gonna try it again, we're gonna try it again, we're gonna try it again. <sighs> Got a hundred. That hopefully is enough. I don't know. Look how happy. Yay! <laughs> Sweet. Cool. First place. Oh. We gotta do it again. We gotta do it again. Uh, we're gonna turn the difficulty of these guys up just a little bit. This is actually probably gonna kill me at some point. But that's okay, because we're just having fun. Alright, let's go. So yeah, I used to just sit here for hours and play this. Okay. I, I say no. We need to find a machine. The best way to actually find a machine is if you want one really early on. You park over here out of the way, and you look around real quick. The box star is actually probably our best bet right now. It's not the best machine, but it doesn't have any boost, which kind of sucks. But for a mode method, uh, <laughs> a mode of transportation that's faster than something, the compact star, we'll take it. Ooh, yeah, here we go. Some good items. Top speed items are one of the best items to get in the game, right next to boosts. Oh. And sometimes the items you pick up will tailor towards the event that's going to happen. Not always. Not always, and it's really frustrating when you got something that's really good for one thing and you get given a stadium event that's like completely opposite. And whatever you got is completely useless. <laughs> okay, you can you take that one then. Look at this, there's so- no, 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 dang it. <laughs> it's fine. There's the formula star, we'll, we'll try to- I want to find the turbo star. That would be ideal. <gasps> no! <laughs> Ow! You stay away. You stay away. Okay, offensive item, that's good. There's another compact star, some one of the bots came over here. I'm really curious, because they might... I don't know if the bots are going to be more uh, offensive, or just collect more items, or whatever it is. Because I don't usually play with the bots difficulty adjusted, because I'm usually just playing against, like, myself. Like, as in, I'm trying to get achievements or something like that, and just having a fun time. I don't really care if the bots are super difficult or not. So, yeah, I don't, I don't usually don't do this, because it just defaultly puts, defaultly puts them at three. See the shadow starts over here. See long checker course. See, now it says that at the bottom of the screen that it, oh, it'll probably be this. That's also not always right. So it's assuming it's going to be a Kirby Air Ride map. Uh, or a track from the Kirby Air Ride part of the game. Which, it might be. It also might not be. It might be a, uh, rock'em, sock'em, beat'em up, like, 
who can get the most kills kind of thing. But, uh, we'll, I don't know, we'll see. I really want a different machine now, though. Oh, you know where we can go check? Anything up here? Doesn't look like it. You know what? Oh, hold on! I won't show you guys that just yet. There's a speed item over here. And a, uh, offensive item. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys the volcano, because we haven't done that yet, and the volcano's fun. So, you saw I originally went in here by going down below, but you also can go from up top! Go all the way under the Sky Island. Which is kind of fun. Um, let's see. I love that they made the floor transparent. It makes it very nice when you're looking for items. Wee hee hee! <laughs> bomb over there. There's a bunch of offensive. See, that's starting to get me worried now, too. The more items you see of one kind, maybe we're gonna have a battle, battle game. Don't you, don't you do it. <laughs> oh my gosh! Where's that formula star? Actually, this would be the perfect time to get the formula star because it's so fast. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh no, it's probably gone. What was that? That was over here, wasn't it? I think it was back on the, the Tri Tower, Tri Level segment. Oh no, it's probably gone. The restoration areas are very helpful. It's still here. It's still here. Oh! That was dumb. That was dumb. Where is this thing? Hold on. Gosh dang it. It's gonna, it's gonna teleport away as soon as I get to it. Wait, was it on top? I need this anyway. Here, this is a restoration pad. You can actually use these up. It's an achievement to use up one completely. There we go. Alright, come here. Oh boy, gotta... Gonna... Gonna... Gonna get all that stuff back. What we're gonna try to do is if we can go down here... We're gonna try to use this restoration pad on uh, on this. See if we can use it the whole thing, because it is an achievement to use one up completely. This is a massive waste. Oh, there we go! We did it. Forty is pretty good. We're speed. Oh, go! There's another one. Might as well while we're here. Right. That was actually probably a really bad decision what we did there, but that's okay. It's all about just playing around with machines and seeing what you like more or like most or least. Or man, I've got way too many all over the board items. I don't have a lot of one type of item. <laughs> At least not. <gasps> there she is. There she is. Bingo. So yeah, that's like it trying to stable itself out, and then you gotta overcharge it again, which is awesome. Oh, the Turbo Star is the best star. Of the basic stars, of the basic air ride machines, it's the best. Oh yeah, okay. You took that. See, look how fast I can turn! You know what, I should probably use this. Man, I used up two of them! Awesome. All right, go, 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 go. You're getting serious now. Boost. I've got way too many turns. Actually, come here. Give me that. That'll help. This thing's also got a ridiculously high offense, which is perfect. Don't you guys dare hit me. We've all probably got a lot of decent items right now, which is going to make this very interesting. Oh, did you take the, uh, dang, I was going to take the turn down. Come on, come on, five, four, three, two, one! No! <laughs> Panic! <laughs> the ring around the speed item. <laughs> oh, see, look at that. We got some nice competition now. Single race. Oh, it was right. Okay, here we go. Oh boy, frame rate. All right, here we go. And Turbo Star is going to do really well here. 
Well, so are they. I can't say that I'm I'm just going to do the best. Oh man, this guy's got his super powered rocket star, which is not good. Oh, come here. Where is he? Oh, he's right behind me. <laughs> Woohoo! This is a good this is a good map. Use the rails as much as we can. Woohoo! <laughs> so fast. I right, gotta hit these boosties. This will help. Oh no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't hit that. Don't hit that. That's gonna make us go slower. Go, 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 go. <laughs> and then you go backwards, because that's what everybody does. <laughs> yes! That was good. That was, like, a nice, tough fight. That was awesome. Um, Alright. There's really not much else left to show, but to, like, do it again. <laughs> uh, but I think I'll, I'll, leave the, I'll leave this video here. So, I hope that you guys have enjoyed uh, me showing off Kerberite Kerb 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 a little bit. One of the best games that came out on the GameCube, along with there's some other really good ones as well. So yeah, uh, thanks to the team that works on, worked on Dolphin, and if it wasn't for their emulator, I wouldn't be able to play it again. Because <laughs> digging out the GameCube takes way too long. So anyway, thanks again for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.